the heavy. The class that only has two and a half people that are using it as their main class right now. That's an official stat. I have looked that up. Today, I want to talk to you about some of the types of heavy players that we see within TF2. And I think it's best to start with probably the most popular version of the heavy players, which are the Hoovies. Some guys see these guys as friends. Some guys see them as a bit of a plague infecting TF2 servers everywhere. In fact, Hoovies infected TF2 servers before the bots even infected TF2 servers. And no matter what you think of these guys, they are everywhere in TF2. You literally cannot get rid of them. Now, as a little bit of character development, recently I've been trying really hard not to kill these guys when I see them in game because I've noticed people got super mad at me whenever I showed footage of me killing one, even if it was by accident. Now, the next type of TF2 player is the shotgun heavies, also more commonly known as the fat scouts. Now, these guys basically play like a scout would, except they use the shotgun, they run a lot slower, and they have 300 HP. It's actually really not a bad playstyle. The shotgun on any class that it can be used on is a super powerful gun. And giving it to a class that has the most HP in the game is a pretty good call. And you can really damage some teams with it. In fact, if a heavy goes from holding a minigun in his hands to holding a shotgun, that really throws a lot of people off because most people just assume you've got a sandwich equipped. I'd recommend trying that one out. This next type of heavy player was the savior of TF2 servers back in 2020. And those guys are the anti-bot heavies. Now, they normally come attached to a vaccinator medic, but they also have the Fist of Steel equipped, which means that they take less damage from bullets. Now, they're actually called anti-bot heavies because the vaccinator buff mixed with the Fist of Steel resistances make it so they can get close to these bots and basically just punch them to death without dying. And in 2020, when the bot crisis kind of really started exploding and being a huge problem, this used to be one of the only ways to actually kill the bots. Luckily though, nowadays the bots kind of are washed up and fairly easy to kill if there aren't too many of them. But if you do still find a server full, you're going to have a hard time. Next up, we have the medic's best friend. These guys never leave their medics alone. It's impossible to find these heavy players not next to their medics, which for a scout player like myself is the worst thing possible. Every time you see these guys, you need to kill two people instead of just one. And the heavy has one and a half times the amount of health he's meant to have. It gets stressful. Now, this might just be me, but almost every single time I see this duo, they are always about to Uber. Like, every single time. I shoot the heavy one time or I shoot the medic one time, boom, invincible, and now I'm dead. Moving on, because I'm about to get a little bit upset, the next type of player is probably the rarest player you will ever see in Team Fortress 2. Somebody who actually mains heavy. I know, it's crazy, but if you look hard enough, maybe one day you will get lucky enough to spot one in the wild. There's not much else to say about these guys. Just marvel at them. Realize what you're seeing is so special. And then move on, you know. And almost the complete opposite from the type of player who is the natural heavy main, we have players who only swap to this class whenever they're doing really bad and they're getting really angry. These guys are the rage heavies. You know when you're killing somebody over and over again and they keep swapping classes to try and kill you? That's basically these guys, except the class they swap to every single time is the guy with the biggest gun. You can tell how mad somebody is in a video game depending on how fast they swap to the heavy to focus you. If it's straight away, somehow you vexed somebody that much that they want you dead immediately. Now, some people take a little bit longer to crack, but once they do, you know you've got them. And most of the time, a tilted player isn't a very useful player. So you've actually helped your team even more by making this guy as angry as they are. And it's especially funny if they still can't kill you when they do swap to heavy. Moving on, another type of heavy is the type that just lives on the payload. They literally could just sit on the payload the entire time and not move. I've done this a few times and to be honest, I've kind of enjoyed it. Now, it's not the most exciting way to play heavy, fairly obviously, but you can easily rack up a lot of points in a game. You're constantly getting cap points. You will be killing people who are trying to stop you from pushing. And honestly, if you want to level up fairly quickly, this might not be a bad strategy. And if you stand at the back of the payload, then you constantly get an ammo and you literally don't need to leave the cart ever. And the final type of heavy player is the kind of player who is brand new. This could be their first or second or third game 
ever in Team Fortress 2. And they are just choosing the guy with their biggest gun and a class who is arguably one of the easiest classes for a new player with no prior experience to pick up and actually start getting kills with. Because we all know if you pick up a game and you get kills straight away, you're more likely to carry on playing it. So actually new players picking heavy is a really good way to make them stay and carry on playing. Now, obviously, as you get more into actually playing heavy, you realize there is a lot more to him than just aiming a minigun at somebody. But for a new player, that bit's easy to understand. And that bit does work all by itself. So no wonder so many new players flock to this class. It makes you feel good when you get killed. If you guys could think of any other types of heavy players, then leave them in the comments down below. And honestly, while you're down there, if you enjoyed, leave this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.